got AJ Lee versus Dark Horse. Or, not Dark Horse, Mark Sanchez. AJB is playing really well today. He, uh, went last game, last stock with Master Handjob. Did he really? Yeah. I went last game, last stock with Master Handjob. Right? So, well, I didn't go last game, last stock with AJB, though. Yeah, I feel like you know his campy style. Yeah, he's a, he's a slow player. I think he plays a somewhat similar game to Dark to Mark Sanchez, actually. Except, well, the double thunder. Yeah, he does. He plays really I, I, think, I think it's similar. Really reactive. Uh, very different from MHJ. MHJ loves to move around. Yeah, MHJ would he's be, pretty technical. not be caught dead standing in place. Uh, AJB spends probably half the time standing. The first thing that uh, Master Hanja learned how to do is jab grab. The first thing before uh, short hop. Yeah. That's funny. So so far, Bark has gotten like what three or four combos so far, uh, and that's really making the difference. Whoa! It looks like you could have got a jab grab. That was really good pressure from Yeah. AJB. Really good land on the platform. Did that kill? Yeah, wow. he just follows the tag. He could have up smashed there, I think, but why bother? Right? Oh, yeah. See, yeah, that's the uh, AJB that. reaction. You gotta... Yo. I don't know what the... That was AJB, too. That was like some... Some shit. Mark's AJB with too. the baits. I don't know what that was about. Mark up his clock here. Down here. He's just gonna run right in with the forward there. Ooh. Back area beats oh, down air. Ooh, I think he was calling jump. Nice control air. Ooh. Man, Is that down? Forward smasher. Yeah. Maybe if he misses the extent. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought Barton just had so much better follow ups. I, I think ATV was actually playing not too bad in the neutral, but Bark had how many combos there? Just combo after combo after combo. Building up damage so much faster. AJB played it pretty close. Okay, Bark's going Samus. Bark's going Samus. He just lost in pools to GT with Samus. And he AJB, lost in pools? Yeah, that's why he's here. Bark lost to GT. What about it, Mr. Sir? I don't know what happened between him and Mr. Sir. But I mean, that's why he's in D2. This is D2. This is not D1. So Mr. Sir probably took a game. Yeah, Mr. Sir probably won the pool. Either Mr. Sir or GT. Let's go, Nova. I might have been GT, who knows. Anyway, uh, AJB, I feel like he should know this matchup a bit. He oh, yeah. He plays with Mr. Sir all the time. And, I should uh, probably spit out my gum if I'm on this character. That's a good idea. Oh, he just jumped right into that. So, so far, AJB has been playing a little aggressive. He's not really... Not really forcing Samus to match his stuff. That was not a good edge guard. Come on, AGB. I wonder why Bart is trying to learn this match. I don't know. I think Bart just likes to fuck her. Yeah. He likes to fuck her. Right now, AGB. I, I feel like Sam not, is so not happy. really playing the match. What the hell? Oh, dude, that was that was pro as fuck. That was that was interesting. I guess. I don't know what the fuck happened. I guess he up to Ooh, a nice. combo opportunity. Another combo opportunity. Oh, this way nice. Backer just lands another one. Just up either oh. land. No! That's tricky. It happens a lot in this matchup where Pikachu needs to hit a tough angle and get to the ledge. Otherwise, he wow, that down uh. air. Bart cut me off. Ending AJB's life early. Sad. 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 What? According to AJB, Shears fucked up the bracket and that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, so that, that was a bonus game for you so guys. Maybe that was a bonus game? I really don't know. It was a bonus. It was a bonus game? I don't know what the real game is. I really have no idea. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Do we get another matchup here? I'm gonna play friendlies. Good plan. Private? It's 
fair to say that I have no idea what's going on. Free for all. Okay, so apparently Bark is not in D2. What? Yeah, comment, commentator. All right, apparently this is the eternal, the eternal rivalry. Oh, I gotta update the names. All right, we got this GT player. So yeah, we had a, a little mishap with the. I guess the game count was misinterpreted. Uh, so I am actually in D1. I guess in. Mr. Sir's spot, where so he was supposed to be. 2-0, Mr. Sir? 2-1. Uh, That's why, if oh, I had... beat Mr. Sir 2 -1. If I had 2 0 Mr. Sir, uh, I would have still had the one seed, I think. But, um... Wait, you had the two seed, but you're still in D1? Uh, yeah, I think so. Did, did two people go to D1? Yeah, what I guess, yeah, two people went to D1. Oh, Anyways, okay, okay. eternal rivalry, GT versus AJB. Uh, I want to say GT started a little earlier than AJB. Yeah, yeah, it's the eternal rivalry. So, uh, GT, I, who had the upper hand GT's in this? GT's definitely been playing longer. Yeah, yeah he's been playing he's longer. He's been around for a while. Uh, he started, like, uh, winter last year. What was that grab? Um, I don't know who, who's had the upper hand in this uh, this rivalry, but GT has done more travel and has some big wins under his belt. But AJB, as far as I know, got the last win. Well, that up smash! He saw the drift in and, and went for the biggest punish he could get. Right up air. And then you should cover the up B. I don't know why GC chose not to go to the ledge thing. That's yeah, strange. I'm not sure. Sometimes, sometimes uh, at this level stuff just happens. <laughs> See, up tilt and it kills. AJB, oh, AJB looking saw. good. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, AJB did not cover himself. He just jumps back out of the stage <laughs> with a neutral. No respect. Uh, AJB. Ooh. Catches him with. Oh, oh, GT just runs in and grabs. <laughs> I think AJB has a much, uh, he has a slower style. He's kind of like what reminds me of the older Baltimore style. <laughs> he sort of reminds me of Shoot. Uh, dude, going back and watching those videos is so funny. Just like, I need to do more of that. up tilt, back air, up tilt, back air. I remember there was a match, it was like my first time at... The combo Whoa. from GT, he went for the up air instead of the nair to get the back air. Good recognition. Yeah, my first time at Xanadu playing Falcon, I just ran, I, it was like last sock, I run at Shears and don't press R, so I just <laughs> run at him and then like do the, this running stop and he just grabs me and throws me off the edge. I was like, damn. And it's funny because like, we oh, were, have a grab. like, Baltimore was kind of good back then, right? Like that, good. But oh it's just God. like nobody we was very good. good. It's just like nobody was there that were, there good. Were like the top five, players. Five people that knew what was going on. And right. They were like, what is everyone else's deal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the pivot up tilt from GT. Doesn't get enough off of that. It's a dangerous situation for both. Both AJB gets the grab. Can GT get a safe recovery here? Yeah, that's, that's smart. smart. To, well, you went to the far platform, which is actually kind of dangerous. Up. Uh, forward air, I think GT could have. He's going for AJB some combos. Uh, GT, oh, run in and grab. The classic, uh, my I've, favorite. I haven't seen enough sweeping down air to like beat out the grab. That's what uh, turns this away from a really grab based matchup. Is when Pikachu starts throwing in those down airs and sweeping them at his opponent. Oh, the short hop down air? Yeah. Oh, and wow. GT just runs in for the, the grab. That was the slow dash dance. Oh, great call out with that back air. I don't, that was not the best option he had, but he must have known. He had a feel. Because <clears throat> in that situation, you want to cover the ledge and throw out a longer lasting aerial, a down air or perhaps a nair. But GT wanted to close it out. No. What? What did you say? Uh, he must have known. He like, must have known. Yeah, like because he went for the hard read back air. Like no reason to go for the back air unless you know that they're gonna be there. Oh, fourth throw. Does he go for the <laughs> just for another grab? 
Uh, great shield jump from AJB. A little bit of a mistake from GT. He just F smashes in neutral. Oh, they're both off. Oh, uh, great situation for AJB. GT lands right in front of him. Good choice from AJB to up tilt. He could have just back thrown, and I think he wouldn't have gotten as much off of it. I know it's a little late in the set, but can we talk about their names? It's yeah, like it's a so much fight. of the alphabet. It's in just there. random letters. <laughs> does, does GT stand for something? Uh, he's never told us. He's never told us. I don't think. I don't oh, even. Get the Nice little chain. Uh, the audio is starting to desync a little bit. Yeah, well, that happens. Yeah. I, I still don't know what. Uh, is it really AJB? I've been calling him so many random things. Hey, it, ABJ, I think it changed. ABJ. It changed like four times at one point. I think he's sticking with AJB and then adding the CVE. I've called him a lot of different things over the months he's been playing. Oh, and AJB playing very patient, letting GT kind of the float downer. these back airs. Not a good situation for GT. He's Those are two good edge guards, and then GT killed himself. Yeah. Um, GT's kind of just floating aerials in front of AJB, and AJB sitting there up tilting, grabbing, and the SD definitely did not help. But AJB had a solid edge guard on him. So AJB up the stock, comes in with that short hop up air, very smart, but he doesn't up smash. There we go. He just goes for. Uh, Ooh, up. gets that land on the side flat. Good back air. Ooh, really overcommits with that back air. He could have covered the ledge without jumping. Off the stage. And you can tell GT is going for a little safer options with his recovery after um, a couple mishaps. Good call out. Oh, again, the ledge cancel. Oh, you could have just grabbed him after that back air. Right? It just oh. jumps all the way over. I mean, wow, and they both missed. GT, very fortunate to get that back air as AJB was recovering. Oh, just misses oh. the top platform and gets it anywhere. This read from GT. Um, AJB gets back safely. Oh, there we go. And then weak Nair can't follow it up. Ooh. Weird forward air from, from behind. He gets a grab. Look at that percentage he has. Yeah, there. it's high, but you know if he gets a grab, you know forward throw <laughs> back. This is, the, this is like the one matchup where you don't go. It could go either way, you know, like. Nah, yeah, but you but can combo you can, for sure. Again, it's a there's a big difference between you know being at 132 versus just not having yeah. the stock. You know, it's like this you, you and can Samus did you know? Yeah. It's just funny where you're like, you know, it can go either way. It's like there's the least amount well, of like still, combo. It's still, it's still even stocks. But it's as we're stocks. saying and that, it's happening. Yeah, GT was just, he didn't really get a combo. He got a couple of short chains and AJB never really recovered from it. Just the amount of pressure. So we're seeing a lot of up tilt. I know in my sets with, with GT, there's a lot of up tilt. Yeah, GT's just letting AJB uh, play kind of, the AJB's going kind of aggressive, um, getting grabbed out of the air. The last stock. Yeah. And GT has managed to create an advantage, but, well, he chooses a forward throw. I, I don't like that decision. Oh, that up tilt almost hit. There's a lot of forward air. No DI out of the forward air. Oh, the jab grab! And GT closes it out with a jab grab. Wow. Not not one forward air was DI'd <laughs> the entire set. That did that actually looked like Xanadu 2014, 2015. That was, yeah, that was Shears. We should upload this as Shears versus Mark uh, <laughs> 2014. Not enough down B. Not enough down B. Not enough F smash, I think. But um, and jab grab, I don't think you guys had the jab grab time. Uh no, no. I okay. I don't like jab grab. <laughs> How do you I, not I, like I, I know there are situations where I need to learn it, but there are a lot of situations where a regular grab won't push them out of the way. All right. Yeah. All right. Get some bark opinions here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jab grab is busted. <laughs> so good. All right, we got Kronk and uh, GT. Kronk has had some pretty good sets today. He, uh, he almost took Dizzle. With Dizzle. Uh, well, I say almost. The last game wasn't close, but uh, Kronk took game two. It looked very strong. So I actually practiced this matchup with Kronk on his stream on Netplay. Yeah. Just a week ago. I saw that. He, uh, I mean, he looked all right. It's it's hard to tell when you know you're playing against a, a player that's very experienced. It's, you know, I'm sure you've played more Mario's than most people just from being online. Yeah, I, I've played some. It's tough because like Probably Caesar, Caesar doesn't has. Caesar doesn't really play online, and the the two other more notorious Mario's are on the West Coast. I play Hydra actually. I yeah, I mean you can get good practice. It's it's tough with the frames going all the way across oh, the Kronk country. Kronk knows how to DI the border. Yeah. Oh. 
Kronk has solid tech, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Kronk is pretty good. Uh, definitely lack of experience holds him back in some cases. You wanna check out the computer and see if it... I don't... It's clearly the computer. I don't know how to fix it. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was the computer or just this monitor. Because this... It, it's definitely the monitor. Okay. Um... <laughs> well, we'll just commentate it like normal and hope it you turns can, out okay. You can... It turns out we can just watch the TV. And oh, yeah. The, the timing is pretty similar, so if we watch the TV... That's what I did for, for the other set where that happens. Oh, well, GT does not really know how to edge guard Mario. It's not easy. Yeah, no, it's not easy it's at not all. It's not easy, and Kronk knows how to use, like, he does the extended up B. E. Yeah, he um, uses the tornado well. I forget who I was He's talking tomorrow. to earlier, but uh, I, oh, I think it was GT. He, he saw how Kronk used the extended up B. E. I'm like, it's not that hard. But when we're talking about, you know, how long has Kronk been playing, and, like, in that context, it's very impressive. Yeah, to, to be doing it, especially under pressure. Like, he did it yeah. last stock in a crazy situation. With right. Diesel, you know? He's he's got an internalized. Oh yeah, that that ledge get up at the at the uh, last stock that was crazy. That's hilarious. Uh, he doesn't like throw him the wrong way. Um, GT looks like he's he just there. walling out Croc pretty well. You know, back airs. Pika back air is very devastating against Mario. Like up air is pretty good, but like I think Ma back air messes up Mario more than most characters. Yeah, it, Mario just has such a hard time dealing with the fact that Pikachu is faster both in the air on and on the ground. Right, right. And he has such like the the back air has a better uh, has a better range and this uh, slight disjoint. There's better range than really anything Mario has. So what Mario has to do is throw out the up air under it. The up air comes out uh, fastest aerial in the game. How fast is it? Mar Mario up there, I think it's like frame frame two or something. Frame two. Wow. Yeah, it's really fast. That's why like a lot of Mario's game is to uh, try. You can. It used to be down air to up air to like, but now that people di the down air, um, I, I've seen a lot of forward air up air. You space out with forward air, and then the up air pokes up under their counter attack. Yeah, forward air up air, not an easy attack. No, not not at all. And uh, I think Kronk. I haven't seen him use a lot of, of down air. It looks like the monitor's working. Uh, it's, it's the monitor's working? No, no, no. It, uh, I said it looks like it's working. Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of um, the down air, up air with Funk. I mean, you can DI out of it. I don't think GT in GT has, GT has DI solid DI. It. G GT's DI is one of the better, he's one of the better players at DIing in Baltimore. Um, we it's it's funny because like you said we didn't really see any DI out of forward airs in that one set, but GT has good DI. The interesting thing about it is that with the down air to upper, you can actually use it as a bait. You know, right. Because you do the down air not expecting it to hit the other person. Oh, right yeah, they come in and up air. You get the up air. It's the same idea with the the, the forward air as well. You, Mario just wants to bait out the opponent into uh, counter attacking, and then the up air comes out so fast you can just poke at him. And then if they're at a high enough percentage, you just combo them to death. Now I don't I like while Kronk's tech is very impressive. I don't think we'll be seeing a, a ton of like zero to death chains or. You know. Yeah, I, I think the problem here for Kronk is that it's just so much easier for GT to take stocks. He can build damage, you know, back air, back air, and then just back throw. Yeah. It's like he is so efficient. Kronk needs to be landing combos, up smashes, all these moves that are hard to hit. Whereas I, all, I, of GT, all of Pika's tools are pretty easy to hit with. Right. I don't think Kronk has a full grasp of his defensive options. And now their defensive options aren't as, uh, as easy to pick up as Pika's might not be as strong. But they, they are there and they're formidable. You just have to, it takes a lot of experience. I mean, we've, we've seen, you know, the Kimmy Bros. They play. They can play a very defensive style. It involves a lot of um, a lot of baits. They'll do like a like a down smash in neutral. You'll run in and they'll jab grab stuff oh, like yeah. that. Um, but again, his defensive options require more um, hard reads. It's very tough. Oh, it looks like you could up smash there. So you get the grab. Should kill. Not quite. Kronk just kind of hard time getting the kills. His throws are nowhere near as lethal as, as Pika's. Oh, I, I think so she... get up. Ooh, the up smash. Good call out. 
Uh, GT probably could have drop off Nared. A lot of people that struggle with edge guarding the Mario Bros, they don't realize that like if he comes anywhere near the ledge, you can drop off Nair. If he goes too low, usually you can you know kind of drop off Nair too. Yeah. More agree. effective against Luigi than Mario though. Yeah, it's amazing against Luigi. Mario, you need to position it right because otherwise he'll be right in you. Oh, Kronk Kronk is disrespect. <laughs> But GT is really just running him down. And, and Kronk is not doing a good job of, of keeping GT out. Yeah, GT he's just pushes him to the, the edge of the, the stage. He's on the edge constantly. Yeah. He's just oh, being forced good, back. Good grab. I could have seen like a down smash there or something to push Peek out a little further. But he still got GT off stage, took him off his balance. Fireballs. Get the down under the grab. Dude, he's going way he, out there he for He really that. likes to commit. I think that's a mistake when edge guarding peak is It's risky. You have to, if you're going to go out like that, you have to be certain that's of it. it. He doesn't have a jump. Oh, nah, he's oh, make just Ooh. makes it. He grabs. Rough situation for Kron. He should still make it back. Wow, great recovery. Yeah, good use of the fireballs, you know. Yeah, Throws this, the fireballs and the forward airs right in the exact position to stop Pikachu from. Yeah. Oh, and he yes, yeah. yeah, you have to be careful with those fireballs. It's like Fox Laser. If you throw them poorly, Pika will just run under and punish you. Yeah. And it looked like that was happening, and then he kind of just flubbed an SD, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of the time he would throw the fireball, and it would end up throwing too late. Right. Um, GT would already be past the fireball, and it would just bounce off uselessly behind it. Still great showing. Uh,